Hello guys, this is JB with Status Magazine. I'm here at one of the uh, trade fairs in Copenhagen and right next to me is Jean-Philippe who showed here in Copenhagen uh, Fashion Week uh, a couple of days ago. Hi Jean-Philippe, how, how are you doing? I'm good. Yeah. Good, uh, I'm doing great. Uh, I love Copenhagen, it's my second time. Uh, and, well, anyway, enough about me. Let's talk about your current collection. Um, could you tell us more about your current collection, your inspiration? The inspiration for uh -huh. this collection was kind of like the samurai and oh. the way that the samurais lived in the woods uh -huh. in Japan during the early like 1600s. Um, oh, okay. And just that their lives were lived in in the nature. So they went through wind, through fire, through rain uh -huh. and everything. And that's also kind of like why um, the guys at the show had wet hair. Because I wanted it to seem as if oh, okay. they had gone through everything mm -hmm. in some way. Great. Um, what sets apart this collection from your previous collections? Um, is there anything special for you know? I think one of the special things is that... Or any new things that you've um, uh, innovated for this uh, particular collection? The, the, the things has definitely become more crafted now. Oh, it's more uh, streamlined. Uh, exactly, yeah. and, and there's a more uh, hard red thread through the garments, mm -hmm. through material choice, color combination to how it all hangs together and I've begun working a lot more on trying to make it a bit more simple for men to want mm -hmm. to wear it um, but still having it at the balance where it's fashion but it's what real men would mm -hmm. like to wear as well and that combination has mm -hmm. gone pretty good this time because there's been a huge interest when it comes to to the fashion part of it from right. like more normal men uh -huh. that usually wear boring clothing yeah. but they actually people are more experimental now, now yes. yeah and so another fabulous. thing the, uh, we all know that there's several you know like um, sort of like goth avant-garde designers in the market yeah. and uh, what sets John Philippe apart from those brands like Rick Owens, Julius, and the New Eastern and the like? I think what sets me apart from the others is that it's 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 more classical. It has bigger influences that not so many of the other designers mm -hmm. have. Of course, Julius has a bit of it as well. Um, but I, I think that my signature is that it's it's clean, simple, aesthetic, only has the necessary mm -hmm. composures like the pockets, a zipper, mm -hmm. um, simple, elegant, and then of course... Oh, that is all, beautiful! Always zippers on it. Yeah, very that, that is definitely the signature for yeah. me. Always zippers, I almost think, on every, um, everything. It's like, you know, like goth avant-garde with a Scandinavian twist. Exactly. Right? Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I like the agree. Yeah, yeah, that's how, yeah, exactly. Um, compared to the other brands, with they, they're they more um, like an, sort of like unfinished, but yours is more a bit refined, but still, you it's, know, it's you can still work it with, exactly. you know, it's, it's exactly. Ref it's refined. Um, it, it has raw edges like a lot uh -huh. of the others, but it's... it's more thought through that mm -hmm. I mean like it's very it's detailed I mean, like this you know yeah it's I like the how you made the um, and all the on all the buttons are, are hand carved as well uh -huh. so when when you look at the button buttons and you, you compare them to each other you you can see that they're uh, they're not at all the same size oh, oh. because everybody is made in hand so oh my gosh and uh, a lot of your pieces are they made there in Europe or are you manufacturing yeah, actually all all of the pieces are made in Europe, ex except for my knitwear, it's made in Hong Kong. Oh, okay. Yeah. Hong Kong. Yeah. They're, re they're really good at it. Very good. If you find a good place, they're really, really good at making it. Yes, that's right. Well, thank you. It's always a pleasure talking to you, Sean Philippe. You and too. I'm happy that, you know, I was able to watch your show here in Copenhagen. I mean, I didn't expect that I'll be able to, to see it here, but... 
Yeah, I'm, I'm happy, did. exactly. <laughs> well, hopefully I'll see you again next year. Of course you will. Uh, thanks for your time and we're looking forward to see your fall winter 2012-2013. Yeah. Thanks.